On today's episode of Lutherville, we'll be answering the question, won't the isolation be lonely? Not at all. There is an old proverb which says, all the great problems of the world stem from man's inability to sit alone in a room and do nothing. So true. <laughs> I have no problem with that. I quite look forward to the solitude. Besides, loneliness stems from a lack of emotional connections to people, not from your physical proximity to them. Living in the center of Los Angeles in an apartment that never has any visitors mm. can be far more lonely than living in the desert. Absolutely, that's a good point. Plus, you are the kind of person who really enjoys being by yourself. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I love the idea of you know, being a strange old hermit, <laughs> like Obi-Wan Kenobi, living out beyond the dune sea. That sounds really sad. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No, it's not at all. Please, I mean, don't take that the wrong way. See, I'm, I'm just trying to explain why, like, physical isolation is not intimidating to me, you know? I'm the kind of person who has no problem going out to dinner by himself. I moved to California by myself. I even visited Disneyland and Catalina Island, like, all alone. I'm not some awkward, socially inept weirdo, you know? I can be very extroverted and sociable, but I'm also entirely at ease with solitude. I don't know. I'd feel a little lonely if I had to go to the movies by myself. Well, see, that's because loneliness stems from our expectations, right? The reason anyone ever feels lonely is because we all have a natural human need for emotional connections. We need to feel loved and valued. We long to nurture friendships and bond with our fellow human beings. When you can't find anyone to reciprocate love and friendship, you become lonely. Mm -hmm. For those who learn to transcend putting those demands on others, life can become even more rewarding. When I adopted a more existential viewpoint, I begin to realize that I need to cultivate my own meaning from life rather than define it through others appreciating me. See, that may sound selfish, but in fact, discovering your own worth without external validation is the very pinnacle of generosity and altruism. Because when you appraise your own value, you stop burdening others with the responsibility of providing your self-esteem. Nothing is more liberating than ceasing to insist upon companionship as a way to imbue your life with purpose. See, that is the diametric opposite of loneliness. That is exuberance incarnate. <laughs> there is a reason all legends and fables throughout human history always have spiritually advanced shamans <laughs> living alone in deserts. Existentialism is the most enriching philosophy one can adopt, for by acknowledging the unimaginable yet probable void that the entirety of the omniverse may be without any purpose or meaning, we come to understand that only our free will, our decisions to care about goodness and light, infuses life with an irrefutable reason for our being. Hence, nobility truly becomes its own reward, for there is no greater prize awaiting practitioners of righteousness than self-respect. Precisely, my dear. <laughs> <clears throat> Most viewers will have no idea what we just said, will they? Don't think so, no. No, probably not. Okay, let, let, me, let me rephrase it. <clears throat> no, I won't be lonely. I'm pretty happy by myself. I think that's better. Yeah, can't have them internet folk using big words and getting all philosophical. <laughs> Lutherville is an educational series inspiring kids and adults to become excited about innovations in science and technology by documenting the design and construction of a Mojave Desert homestead called Galatea Meridian. Witness the crazy story of how Eric Muss Barnes, an unemployed computer geek and struggling novelist, risks homelessness by spending most of his life savings to build an off-grid dream house in the middle of nowhere. Having purchased vast acres of the Old West, can Eric find a stable job and create his home before his money runs out? Take a journey where fortitude and a pioneering spirit continue to forge the American dream on the romantic landscape of the American frontier. Thanks for watching the latest episode of Lutherville. And please be sure to share with all your friends. And remember, if your ambitions don't scare you, they aren't big enough. <laughs>